continue from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage and now by boat. To the east, tomorrow wind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. What's your name? All right. Welcome, guys, to a very, very special playthrough. After 20 years, we are going back to Morrowind. Um, before we begin, there's a few things that I want to uh, clarify. First, you'll notice this guy actually looks pretty sharp. Uh, he looks much better, especially the nipples, you know what I'm saying? Uh, since uh, since it was released in 2002, we had put in some mods. Uh, I found some mods online that just kind of polish things up a little bit. I was thinking about doing a very pure vanilla playthrough. Um, but I decided, you know what, just for the sake of the entertainment, I'm going to go ahead and tweak just some of the visuals just a little bit, add some better textures and things like that, just to kind of spruce things up. Part of me feels like that's like cheapening the experience, but at the same time, I spent so many hours on Morrowind as a kid that this playthrough wall is going to be very, very unique and special for me and hopefully for you as well. I wanted to upgrade a few things just to kind of see what that was like. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, pop that in here. Not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. I have so many stories that I can't wait to share with you guys about this game. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. That's what she said. Okay, so yeah, so a couple of things real fast. You may notice that the thumbnail images for this playthrough are for the original Xbox. That is specifically because I originally came into this game back when it first uh, was released on the original Xbox before I was a PC gamer. The uh, vanilla version here of Morrowind does not use controllers, so I'm going to go ahead and use uh, M and key. Um, but uh, I do know that there are some like mods you can install to allow you to use the controller but i'm going to go ahead and keep it using the mouse and keyboard here you better do what they say oh i shall yeah visually this looks so much better with some of the mods that we put on here i can't wait to explore this i'm actually going to show you guys some things that i did when i was a kid um well i'll get i'll explain more when we get there some random bones around here and yeah, not only are the graphics better than what they once were oh you guys can't see that it's really dark for you okay so for me i i adjusted the uh, i wonder you know what i wonder if i can change that let me see you guys can't see this very well um let's go to video real quick uh can you guys see that no you can't the gamma correction is fixed for me but it's not for you so it's very dark in here okay that's that's weird for some reason obs doesn't pick that up okay well whatever we'll just have to deal with it we're gonna step outside in a second anyway yeah, that's super dark for you. That's a terrible way to start this. For some reason, like, it looks really good here for me. But for you guys, it doesn't pick up at all. That's very odd. Anyway, we'll get out of here and then you'll see. Basically, I'm just in this ship. I didn't realize that you guys couldn't see that. I'm looking at two different screens. My playthrough video, which is... Yeah, I did the gamma correction and everything looks nice. And then the recording window for you guys is just pitch black almost. Okay, let's get through that. Get yourself... There we go, now it looks much better. Yeah, see, I actually have to change this uh, visual, let's see, gamma correction for me. So it matches a little more what you guys are looking at. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and bring it right about there. That should be okay. Yeah, that's odd. For some reason, you guys don't see the same thing that I do. Let's see, I wonder, yeah, real-time shadows. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move that on. Okay, all right, anyway. Yeah, you can see the enemies in the water over there too. Yeah, they did a lot of really good jobs. I remember a uh, good job with the, the mods here. The clam shells down there also should have pearls in it or other potential valuables. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office. Man, the graphics update is very, very nice for this game. Like, things just look so much more rounded in the necessary areas. Mm -hmm. Sharp in some places. Also too, the PC version has so much more dialogue than the Xbox version does. You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. 
dang look at those pretty little blues when i first started this game i always went with dark elf i was always 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 rolling with that and i might do that again just so i can kind of relive that not sure how i feel about some of those piercings though um let's see interesting the piercing is huh on all of them i think i did the one with the scar let's scroll back to that that actually looks just like the uh, Dark Elf down below. Huh. I wonder... Hair doesn't change. Oh, hair does change that. Ooh. Yeah, these some of these are new. The general game experience should be the same, I think. But the visuals changing and some of the other graphic enhancements have added a few other... Dare I say cosmetic changes? That's not bad. Let's see what other hair was there. Yeah, it might stick to Dark Elf. It's starting to look like uh, James Cameron's avatar a little bit. Actually, that gray hair was pretty dope. Okay, so I think we've covered them all. Mohawk. John Smith looking ponytail. Some sort of native headdress type thing. Don't like that. Widow's beak, nah. Yeah, the earrings aren't really my thing, but okay. I think we're going to go with this, uh, and then we're going to toggle through the faces a little bit. That's not bad. Kind of like the tattoo one. Actually, we're going to go with this one. This one's kind of, kind of pretty, right? Okay. Dark elf. Um, I wonder... Yeah, I don't. I can't change that stuff yet. We'll be able to pick our abilities here shortly. So we're gonna go in and just hit okay. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office, and they'll finish your release. God, I've been dying to play this game. You know, there's a handful of titles that I've said this about since I've started YouTube, and I'll say like, if you look back, my earliest videos are like seven years old, maybe. Um, but I've only been doing YouTube at the time of this video going live. I just hit two years, two videos a day, every single day. One video every 12 hours, 10 a.m., 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but I will say this. The very beginning of my YouTube career, which I consider to be the two years ago, not the seven years ago. That was just, That's just, you know, whatever. Some early era stuff. Um, this is the game that I really wanted to do a playthrough of. Like, really, 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 really. But I couldn't quite find the time or opportunity to dedicate to it. So uh, there's been a lot of other playthroughs since then. I was still kind of figuring out what, the, what I wanted the channel to be about. I wanted to build a little bit of a community, which I think I have somewhat of. And uh, now that we're here... I just can't tell you how excited I am, but oh man, I've got so many things that I can talk about about this game. All right, let's pop inside. Hopefully it's not too dark in here. Uh, it's dark for you guys. It's a little dark for me too, but it's dark. I don't know what it is. My adjustments on the screen aren't uh, showing up on for you guys as much. It's very unusual, but that's okay. I'll worry about that later. I remember finding a way to steal all this stuff somehow by like crouching, like, somehow behind this uh chair and stealing some things in this place oh my god i can't wait okay anyway plain paper i stole everything in the beginning of the game anything that i thought was useful or valuable i stole because i didn't know what actually was useful like i had no idea when i first started this i'm like oh my god is this pitcher or this plate or this uh tank or whatever these must be rare items and you know this broom i would steal it all just so i could sell it obviously we know better now but Yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. Okay, I'm going to fill out the forms myself, creating a custom class. I always liked having this be something, uh, I don't know, something badass. Wanderer is usually what I did, but I'm going to go ahead and say nomad. I don't know why. I just think it looks cool. Um, okay, class description. Uh, I should be able to... Specialized stuff. Block, medium, blunt, axe, athletics, armor, heavy. I mean, we're going to be a total badass anyway, so it doesn't really matter what we pick here. Um, it's just like, the way I've always thought about this is, what do you want your initial boost to be? I'm not an axe person or a spear person. Um, I do like combat because that's more of like middle of the road for everything. But if you want to specialize in something, this would be a good way to do it. Um, I'm not sure how I want to go about this, though. Um, I already have plans to know exactly what I'm going to do once we leave here. But I don't know uh, how we're going to go about uh, 
uh, I don't know, like our weapons and stuff. I, it's going to be swords, maybe. Do I want to do long blade? <sighs> Speed increase. Okay. Oh, that's right. Combat, magic, and stealth. Okay, that's right. We're going to go ahead and stick to combat. That's right. This is without telling you everything that goes into it. That's right. Okay, okay, okay. My bad. I worded that very wrongly. So, yeah. So, this is what you're good at. This is what you're good at. This is what you're good at. Um, marksman sneak. I am going to choose stealth. I decided now that I realized what I'm doing here. It's been 20 years. Okay, I love this game. I put hundreds of hours into it, but I'll tell you right now, 20 years is a long time to remember this stuff. Favorite attributes. Um, this is important. I remember always struggling with uh, being over encumbered. Affects every action you do in a small way. Yeah, so we're going to go strength. Determines your maximum amount of magic. I don't really use magic that much, but we will eventually. Still though, luck and personality might not be a bad choice. Um, starting health. Health gain per level and your maximum fatigue. Endurance might not be bad speed is pretty good yeah i'm struggling man trying to figure out what i want i'm gonna go ahead and pick luck major skills okay now we can pick some things and really build this player out um broadsword sabers long swords clan wars katanas yeah on that Okay, I'm trying to remember the armor style that I liked. I thought Daedric armor looked really freaking cool in this game. I always thought it looked the best in this one. Yeah. Oblivion had the best Dwemer armor, Dwemer armor. In this game, it looks awful. But Daedric armor looked really cool. Steel, silver, Dwemer, Ebony. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do heavy. Um, athletics. The blunt weapon I don't care about. Security, sneak, long blade, heavy armor. Yeah, heavy armor seems really stupid. I don't know, I might. Let's see. Enchantments are such a big deal. Those are really, really important. Man, I can't tell you how many hours I spent trying to craft out the perfect character when I initially started. Speechcraft. Uh, uh, buying low and selling high. Others by admiring, intimidating, taunting. That, hmm. I'm actually wondering what I should do about that. Athletic security sneak. Uh, whatever. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do speechcraft here. I'm going to go ahead and do mercantile there. I'm going to go ahead and do marksman. Uh, acro. armor okay sneak security athletics we're gonna change block to what what do i want destruction is a really great one sneak acrobatics light armor short blade marksman mercantile speechcraft hand to hand that doesn't matter to me so much but i'm gonna go ahead and say armor okay so i think we're good stealth is our specialization strength and luck long blade armor athletics athletics security and sneak Speechcraft, Mercantile, Marksman, Acrobatics, Heavy Armor. Because even though it'll be a little while, the Ebony and Daedric armors look really freaking cool. And we're going to be playing this game for a long time. Okay, so we're good. Nomad. Very good. The letter that preceded, you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. Thief, always. Come on. Would that be? Is it ever going to be anything else? Well, it's Shattered as Invisibility, so actually that one is a, a good, strong contender there. Fortify Luck. Shadow. Invisibility for 30 seconds on self. Shadow Form. Chameleon. That's tough, man. The Shadow and the Thief, I feel like there's a bit of an overlap there. I'd be down to have Invisibility and Luck. Chameleon. Shadow Form. Moon shadow. I think the the main power is something that can only be done every 24 hours, I think, if I remember correctly. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say shadow since we're gonna focus on stealing a lot of stuff. We're gonna steal this whole region. Stamp these papers. Make sure this information is correct. Okay, name. And let's just keep it simple. Okay, dark elf nomad. Sign the shadow. Forty-five, forty, one, sixty. Ba Ancestral ghost. Nice. Okay, I think we're good. You now have a stats menu where you can always view your information. Right-clicking allows you to use your menus when you are done with them. Right-click again to close them. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Okay, read your papers by pressing the E button while looking at them. And select take to pick them up. For the res oh, sorry, for the release, ugh, for release by Emperor Uriel Septim the Seventh's Decree. To the district of Vardenfell in the province of Morrowin, named Mark, Dark Elf Nomad, signed Sokukius, Sokukius, Sokukius Ergala, agent of the Sadanine Imperial Census and Excise, 16th of Last Seed. I'm not sure what that symbol is. Is that an E, a G? I don't know. 3, 4, 2, 7. Okay. So, now, oh. Yeah, take, whoop. Excellent. Right-click to use your new menu. I just pull this out. I've been arrested like a handful of times because I just punched this card in the face, punched him in the face. I want to open that so bad, but we don't have any lock picks, and I don't want to do it just yet while we're, you know. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. I always, always, always shut doors behind me just so that way I can block their line of sight. Okay, you should learn how to do Comet. Pick up the dagger on the table by activating it. Yep. Iron dagger. Okay. Note. Terrascar, don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. Gansieli. Why not? Letters, books, and scrolls can be read by equipping them in our inventory menu. Okay, let's see. I don't want to bore you just yet with, uh... Nice. I love that noise so much. It brings back a lot of memories. Uh, comma egg. Value four, nothing. Yeah, we can't open that yet. Um, I won't bore you just yet with all of my stories, of which I have a lot. Um, I don't know if I'm going to read all the books. You know, I was reading uh, about um, a guy on Spotify, Skyrim Book Club, who was reading all the books, as you can imagine, from Skyrim. I wish Escape would make me back out of that. And I thought that was really cool and I thought about doing something similar someday, reading all the books from here. Let's see, what does this say? Brunello Sarava got three years. That's the time I spent wandering throughout the island of Vardenfell. During my travels, I observed a lot of peculiar things and I thought, why not share my experiences? Down below, I have listed some of my observations. Good luck, stranger. Grand soul gems are truly difficult to come by. Make sure you use them wisely. Enchanting items with constant effect enchantments will require souls from powerful, unique enemies. Mining ore and gathering muck require specific tools, in this case a miner's pick and a muck shovel. I have a funny story about that. City gates and shops close at night. Inns, guilds, halls, and other places of interest are always open for business. Summoned creatures do not contain the same amount of soul essence as their natural counterparts. Merchants have a very limited selection of rare ingredients. Due to imperial bureaucrats here in Varnfell, it's illegal for outlanders to own more than one property. This can be circumvented if you raise through the ranks of the various guilds located on the island. So I have a thought about that too. So let's, I'll, might as well just fill you in. Okay, so one thing that's really funny is about the mining thing. So when I was first playing this game and I got really, really into it, I abandoned the main storyline and I didn't even complete it. But I spent countless, no, that's not true, not countless, but I spent hundreds of hours playing the game, discovering like rare items legendary items um and unique situations that i found to be very fun and uh entertaining and one thing that i found was a mine uh for diamonds which i think was owned by the imperials when you go into this mine and you start mining the diamonds if they catch you it's an automatic like death sentence stealing their their diamonds i did it anyway and i slaughtered all the guards but from that point forward after i eventually somehow managed to pay off the guards or go to prison or whatever I did to get away from uh, uh, having a bounty on my head because that's what happens when you commit crimes you get bounties on your head anytime a guard saw me of the Imperials anywhere it didn't matter where or when anytime I ran into one they immediately attacked me and tried to kill me even though I had no bounty on my head it was like just immediate death 
they tried to kill me and i just remember it was so funny because like i could fight back because it's self-defense because they attacked first and I, I couldn't go anywhere at all even on a main quest i'm just like you know walking with someone or i'm doing whatever i'm doing trying to complete something a, a major quest or a minor one and i'm attacked by the imperials so i had to slaughter them all right then and there i've uh, gotten a lot of gold that way and uh, keys and other unique items on their person but i thought that was kind of funny um let's see uh yeah, Varnholt's legal for Outlanders own warm property. Other thing about that is, too, is I remember I never bought a property in this game. What I did was is I had slaughtered someone in a house that I knew no one would ever go in. So I slaughtered them all. And then I just decorated it by very carefully placing all my swords and other things uh, on tables and benches and stuff around that area for display. Problem is in this game, though, is unlike the other games. I don't remember about Oblivion, but I know Skyrim, you can place like swords on plaques and other things like that. In this one, you cannot do that, um, at least none that I came across. So you have to carefully pick up and like place the swords or whatever items that you have that are legendary or rare that you want on display uh, on a table or whatever, because there was no wall mounts for them or no mannequins to place them on. So they couldn't really display your, your, your items that you've uh, collected. It was very annoying. But what happens eventually is if you take too much stuff and you put it out there like that and you leave the house and come back you'll get this massive like potato sack sitting in the room and it's called an overflow loot bag it's like the game's memory for whatever reason could not contain everything that i wanted to display so all my armor all my weapons everything that i displayed all nice and neat took me hours and hours and hours to get it exactly how i wanted i was that meticulous i left carried a mission came back and then it was all in this overflow loot bag, which, as you can imagine, is problematic for one thing, decorating, but also because you need to dump your stuff off sometimes because you have uh, a certain amount of carry weight that you have. And if without a house, like, you have nowhere to put all this stuff. Hopefully, though, when we get to the point of buying a house, there will be some places where we can put some stuff on display, but uh, we'll find out when we get there, I guess. Okay, if you're a valued member of the Mage's Guild, you can use special magic platforms inside guild halls to travel between guilds. I did that. Being able to haggle is a valuable skill. Taunting or any other way of annoying people will quickly end a conversation. That is probably the most important thing out of here that I learned, and I'm going to show you why very shortly. Getting a high bounty will draw the attention of bounty hunters. Ooh. Which again results in, uh, I believe, a self defense thing. Now, they're talking about the taunting thing, which I found very useful in this game, but never as useful in others. There is a very specific place that we're going to go once we leave this area and get our freedom. And, uh, well, I'll just show you when we get there. Let's go. Also, we've already stolen a bunch of stuff, and we have to be careful. Hmm, that's not a good crouch. I wonder... Yeah. Uh... What do you want? Yeah, see, he's got no dialogue. Not everyone will talk, like, actually talk to you, though. I'm an officer with the Imperial Legion. Move along. Yeah, I wonder, that bar there is going to be... That's going to be funny once we deal with that more later. Okay, let's get out of here. How dark is it for you guys? It's pretty dark. I can only see it because of the gamma. Okay, where the hell am I supposed to go? Isn't there a door around here? Oh, it's over here. Okay, so we come out here. I remember... Uh, you now have a map menu which shows you the name of the place we're in. Okay. Worry about that later. Oh, you can see the mini map in the bottom right. That'll be useful. Uh, Grave Ring of Healing. We'll take that. Blue Glass Cup. I don't need that. You have a magic uh, menu where you can use your power spells and magic items. Like all menus, right click to use your new menu. Okay, whatever. So I think press order ready or active magic, then cast. Okay, so we'll have to worry about that. Um, I wonder. Hmm. How do we... There we go. Okay, so M. This map is pretty big. I can't remember exactly where this is at. Oh, damn, this is going to suck. Somewhere in the general area in one of these coves. They're here or here. There's a location that we're going to go first and foremost. And I've done this every single time I've ever played this game. But it's been a while, so I don't remember where it's at. But it is called the Dren Plantation. And I'll never forget it. Uh, somehow, when I first started the game, and I started out in Seda, and I went over to this direction somewhere along this coastline. I don't remember where. We will find it, though. Um, I came across a Dren Plantation, which I thought was a very racist-sounding name. So I wanted to go explore to see if it, you know, as a plantation, like, 
what it had. Um, and I think they do actually have slaves and stuff there. It's pretty messed up. But when I got there, what I found was there was a guy, there were two unique people, I think, in the general area. One of them is wearing, I believe, full Dwemer armor, which looks really stupid in this game, and I don't really care for it. But another guy had a katana, and he had uh, Daedric Greaves on, which I remember that was the first time I ever encountered Daedric armor. And I taunted the hell out of this guy before I eventually found a spot where if I like jumped on a bed and I backed up against the wall on this bed, I was just out of reach as he was trying to swing to me. But I had a weapon that I was able to hit him and just do one HP. And it takes like a half hour. But eventually I was able to kill this guy and take his stuff after taunting him to the point where he just like got so pissed he attacked me first. I thought that was really funny. The local map. Okay, can I move these around? I can. It's kind of weird how it overlaps like this, but you can click on these. Let's see. Very interesting how this map is designed. Okay, so maybe down here. Maybe down here. Can I resize it? It's so funny. The PC version is so weird compared to uh, the Xbox version. I don't know. I don't remember doing this in the Xbox version. Maybe you could. Maybe you couldn't. I'm not sure, but... Let's see, can I resize it? Yeah, it scales with. Okay, cool. So now we're, we're now we're in a, in a good position. This is a very weird menu, but it'll take me a little while to get used to this. Um, one other thing. So with the mods that I put on, while most of them are visual, some of them fix bugs in the game, uh, but also allow you to wear more magical items, specifically the rings. So I think if I recall correctly, you were only able to wear one ring on each finger, so only two fingers were dedicated to wearing rings. Um, I don't know how many fingers you can do with the mod here, but uh, you do have the ability to wear more than these. I think it's all the fingers, actually, if I remember reading the mod right. I want to line that up. There we go. It was like a pixel off, and it was driving me nuts. Over here is the same way. There we go. Looks a little better. This is just trash. What's happening in this? Yeah, I have uh, I don't want to say I have OCD, but I do not like things to be out of order. That looks about right. Okay, we'll leave it for now. All right, so... Let's see if I put that on. So I can drag it over, but there we go. Interesting. Weapon apparel midget. How do I not? Oh, I see. Press 1 to pull out your weapon. Once your weapon is ready to hold and release the left mouse button to swing. Yeah, I get that. Okay. Do you have some fun stories about this stuff as well? Okay, now um, let's take a look and see. Oh yeah, the combat in this game is awful, but that's not why we play. We play for the exploration and the story. Okay. I gotta be super careful about who I try and shank with this though. Um, let's see. This stuff is very important, uh, taking junk and eating it, because you'll, as you eat the stuff, that's how you learn what these ingredients do. Some of this stuff is very important. Some things are rare. What do we got here? Note. Here's a list of the prisoners arriving later today. Please make sure they are processed quickly and without incident. Name, race, gender, status. Let's see. Rorain Breton, male, yet to be processed. Thetric Bosmer, male, yet to be processed. Terminin, Altimer, Altimer, female, yet to be processed. Jube, Dunmer, Falset, Abicious, Imperial, Mark, Dark Elf, Unknown. Shellus Gravius, Knight Errant of the Imperial Legion. Oh, this is going to be so fun. I love taking these personal notes. I had a large collection of these when I originally played this game. Also, if I'm talking too much, you're going to have to deal with it. I'm just very excited about this. Press E to talk to the captain. Select topics to ask him about. Don't try persuasion on him. If you're not good at it, he will start to dislike you. Yeah, I got to be careful. Damn, look at that armor. There was... Please. Yeah, I. there was some stuff in here that you could steal. But you have to be super careful. I wasn't good at sneaking when I tried it. The gold on the table. Yeah, taking anything is a bad idea in here. Because he will kill you on the spot for stealing. First, let me take your identification papers. Thank you. Word of your arrival only reached me yesterday. I am Celis Grievous. I know they pronounced his name, but I completely forgot how to say it. So, get off me. But my background is not important. I'm here to welcome you to Morrowind. Please release... I oh, sorry. Release any papers have been removed from inventory. A knight errant of the Imperial Legion. The Legion 
The legions hire qualified recruits of proven skill and character and provide training, goods, and services at discount. The lower ranks are common troopers and officers, but the upper ranks include the orders of the Imperial Knights. So as long as this stuff, like sometimes I think it throws it, oh, I think it's alphabetical order, these topics in here. So sometimes when they're speaking, like you start with B, you go to I, and then it throws like a C in there and you got to go back. So it's very important that you pay attention to what this is all about. The good news is at least is it shows you what you've clicked on and then the description below it. So that very much is very helpful. I'm proud to be an Imperial. Uh, through our legions and rule of law, we've brought peace and civilization to the provinces of Tamriel. See how it threw up duties in here? Yes, you're in Morrowind. I don't know why you're here, or why you were released from prison and shipped here, but your authorization comes directly from Emperor Uriel Septim VII himself. And I don't need to know any more than that. When you leave this office, you're a free man. But before you go, I have instructions on your duties. Instructions from the Emperor, so pay careful attention. See, now it throws Yeah, Okay. Okay, journal's been updated. This package came with news of your arrival. You are to take it to Caius Cassides. Cosades. Cosades? I don't know. Sure. In the town of Balmora, go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal to your name. So, uh, I, there's, I got a funny story about that, actually. Um, we'll go to Balmora. Balmora is north of Sedanine. The road passes uh, Pelagiad Village and Fort Pelagiad. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm going to pronounce a lot of these wrong way. Because, like, when I played this as a kid, like, I didn't really talk to anybody about it. So, how the hell am I supposed to know how to pronounce these things? Never really heard it said out loud. Uh, let's see. Fort crosses a deep ravine, passes Fort Moonmoth, and uh, turns west across the Odai River into Balmora. The South Wall Corner Club is in southeast Balmora on the east side of the river. For more detailed directions, talk to Elone, the scout at Air. Let's see. Ariel's Trade House here in Sedanin. But take my advice. You're new here. Take the Silt Strider to Balmora. Fast, cheap, safe. Cross the bridge and head east. Can't miss it. Okay. Background Balmora. Let's see what. Report to Caius and Balmora. I can't tell you where to find him, but you are to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for him. Someone there uh, can direct you to him. Yeah, well, uh, I do know some stuff. I'm going to probably save s some of the stuff that I know for the sake of, you know, the story experience and all that stuff. I don't want to uh, ruin any of that or spoil anything. Duties, we got that. Imperial, Imperial Legion, Morrowind, my trade. Yeah, we got that. Silt Strider, it's that giant gross creature out there. Silt Striders carry passengers and cargo between settlements on Vardenfell. Fares depend on distance to be traveled. Silt Striders are giant insects. A compartment for passengers and cargo is hollowed from the creature's shell. The driver directs the beast by directly manipulating exposed organs and tissues. <coughs> Silt Striders travel between Aldrun, Balmora, Sedanine, Saran, Nisus, Molagmar, Margon, and North Landing near Vivek. Got a funny story about that, too. Yes, Oriel Septim is still the Emperor. According to my instructions, he personally authorized your release from prison and your delivery here. It's all very mysterious, but that's the way the Empire works. Silence, secrecy. Let not the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Yes, of course, this is the Empire. This is Vardenfell District of the Providence of Morrowind, and Morrowind has been part of the Empire for over 400 years. The current Emperor is Oriel Septim, 24th of the Septim line. You haven't been in prison that long, have you? Nothing wrong with your head, is there? The men said you were acting a little strange when they brought you in for the ship. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything. All right, so we're good. I Yeah, if I touch that, I'll get in huge ass trouble. And I know there is like a crouching thing, so if I can get this guy... I thought there was like a little eye thing like Skyrim had. Wait, let's see, is there... Okay, I wonder... Hmm. I can't use it in here, I don't think. Unless, let me see. Nope, I can't use my magic in here. It won't let me. Can I? Oh, I can pull that out. Let's not kill this man. All right. Press J to use your journal and review what you've been told. You should probably check out Trade House on the top left. You're on your own now. Okay. So there's a couple of really sweet things about this game that I really, really love. Most games have NPCs that you can't kill. This game does not have that. Anyone you see, you can kill. If it's an important character, you can kill them. Anyone can die in this game, which is very important to note because if you do kill someone important, it'll tell you like a terrible message saying like, it's basically saying if you kill them, you won't be able to move forward in the storyline and you're doomed to roam around without like fulfilling your destiny. And so it tells you to like, uh, 
Oh, uh, it tells you to load an earlier save. I actually uh, did play a save once where I killed a god that um, I wasn't supposed to. And I don't remember if there's ever a point in the game where the missions are complete, so you don't need him anymore, so you can kill him, but I did successfully kill a god. I was using cheats, though, mainly because he has so much health and takes very little damage, and he will F you up big time. He throws a lot of damage at you if you try to fight him, because he's, he's basically, I think, a good guy. Or a neutral god, anyway. He's not one that you should be fighting. But I wanted to see if I could kill him, so I cheated and boosted up my health, and... I was successful. Okay, so where's the trade house? Uh, wooden door, Satanine. Yeah, it's someone's actual house, so we don't want to do that. Wooden door to Satanine, Jury's Giovanni's house. One of these is the trade house. Satanine, trade house. So that one's locked. That might be a back door that's just not open for me. Yeah, there we go. Pretty much every door you can crack into. These are some upgraded uh, background noises as well. Ah, Netch Leather Armor. Trash. Hated these things. But you can steal them if you're good enough. Taunt anyone and kill them all. A lot of times there's also armor here. Like this is an iron helmet. Steel pauldron. A lot of this stuff is just chilling here. That doesn't have a full set. But you gotta be careful what you steal. Because it's not exactly worth it. Especially since there are people in here that'll, you know, kick the crap out of you. Mysticism. I wonder if we're gonna find out. Uh, I didn't take it. No. She's gone too far. I'll see her disgraced before the council. Yes. Whatever. Welcome to Aurel's Trade House. I barter for goods or coin. I also have a small selection of spells for sale. No credit. You want a little advice? That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear about our most popular potions? Our most popular scrolls? Your gold, $87. Yeah, so he's got a large inventory, and I've got Jack. This early in the game is not a big deal. Most of the stuff is trash anyway. We don't really need to worry about it. The blue icons are... Well, the icons, like this blue one, this purple one here, the red one. Um, these are all related to the different schools of magic. I believe this red one is destruction, perhaps. The lock picks, though. Uh, damn it. How many can I buy? Oh, yeah, I'm broke, dude. Uh, let's see. Offer? Yeah. I, yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, I'm going to be incapable. I need to rob some people and kill some people. Latest rumors are always important. If I would run around and talk to everyone and ask about latest rumors if that was an option. I heard that her score upstairs is having some financial troubles. Can't seem to win a wager these days. Little advice. If you want to live to ripe old age, buy a weapon as much and as much armor as you can wear it. Uh, hold on. A weapon and, and as much armor as you can wear and still run from trouble. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder and we don't like it, but you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws if you'd like. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. That's smuggler scum down in... Oh boy. Adam Asortis, for instance. The cave down near the Siltstrider platforms. Okay. Let's see. A lot of this stuff I just like clicked on just to sort of gather whatever I needed in the inventory if I didn't care to read it. But you have to be super careful though because some of that stuff is super important. Now there was one thing that I was going to tell you guys. Um, let's see, where is it? Which one is it? Oh, this right here. God, I hate thinking about this. But when I initially started the game, uh, I didn't know this. But key items like this package, which are items for um, a main quest, uh, they can be dropped or they can be discarded and you can lose them like forever and if you do that you won't be able to continue the story and you have to go to chaos to actually move forward with the main campaign of the story so whatever you do do not use this you can't lock it like into your inventory or do anything with it other than drop it and if you drop it you can't go to chaos and move on and otherwise you're screwed so definitely don't want to do that but uh, that happened to me once and uh, yeah I was too far into the game and I just continued on playing it was not, uh, I was not able to complete anything that way. You look like he's a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I can be your friend. He helped me recover some gold. All right. What do we got? 
That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for protection. But I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little fetcher, Fargoth. He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I actually know where this is. Uh, let's see. I know the little Fetcho's got one somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. I've already gone through his whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold if you can. I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Yes. Excellent. Here's what I want you to do. I'm not sure where he goes, but I know he wanders around town at night. Watch his movements. The best vantage point is on top of the lighthouse south of town. That will give you a nice view of Sedanine. If you keep an eye on where he goes, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out where he's hiding that gold. Okay, so the cool thing is about this sort of thing is that when it comes to time in the game, you can sleep as well. I think that Elder Scrolls games do this too, but you can sleep until night. Now, we need to find this guy, but I actually know... Uh, Oops, I gotta be careful of fall damage. I actually know where he stashes it. There's a tree stump somewhere in town that he stores his gold. I just have to remember where it's at. To the lighthouse, huh? The blue plates are nice. Oh, you're hearing dialogue in the background. Okay, Vivek. So this is actually a town, but also it's named after a god that occupies it, and that was the god that I had fought and killed. Uh, he's like, half of his body is gold, half his body is blue. Anyone who's familiar with the Elder Scrolls games are probably familiar with Vivek. Yeah, we gotta find that log. It looks just like this. And when you get close to it, um, it'll actually indicate that it's a hiding place, so you can find it that way. Um, I'm just looking around for it briefly. I wonder, let me take a look and see about running. Let's see, controls. Use. Activate, ready magic, sneak, run, left shift, always run, cap locks. Huh. I wonder, let's see. So this is running, oh, there's a dead body over here. Uh, hell yeah, son. I'll take that. Tax record, I'll take that. Actually, we're going to go ahead and take it all. Oh, Dispose of Corpse. That's interesting. I forgot about that. Oh, this is a main campaign one. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can actually upgrade our clothes. Common shoes. What am I wearing right now? Common shoes as well. Common shirt. Common pants. Am I wearing trash pants right now? Four dollars. Yeah, whatever. Upgrading the outfit a little bit. How do I look with the white on there? Yeah, I look like a freaking peasant. I need to upgrade my stuff. Gotta get used to escape not working. Okay, I think... Oh, the rats. You also gotta be careful the rats. These nasty little bastards uh, are poisonous. Okay, we're gonna go in town in a minute, but I wanna first... Look at this. Terrible combat. There we go. The, uh, <laughs> the amount of times that you can actually hit this thing or any of the enemies is dependent. It's like all RNG based. Once you get better, your swings actually hit. It's like a Dungeons and Dragons type combat. There's like a very quick roll of dice that takes place. And uh, yeah, if you suck, you suck and it's not going to hit. These guys shoot poison, I think, as well. I don't think that they're hostile, though, these guys. Scribs. Yeah, they're not hostile. They don't attack you. The rats will. Those mud crabs might. Damn, where is this hiding place? This isn't it, is it? No, I thought it might be that. These little things. Gotta hate these nasty little bastards. Those are the worst. Okay, let's go to the lighthouse that he was talking about and then see if we can rest until the night and then find that hiding spot that he's talking about. There's a lot of stuff to do in here and I want to explore it all, so we're gonna go ahead and... Uh do that. I don't know what counts as a lighthouse, though. That must be it right there, actually. I have to be careful going in the water. My health isn't that strong. And those little barracudas. Yeah, see him? Yeah. Okay, so he wasn't coming close. And on top of that, even though there's like those nasty little fishes that are in here, there are worse creatures out there further in the water. Like mermen out there that will F you up. They're more like octopus men, actually. Instead of a mermaid tail, it's like a nasty octopus 
tentacly thing. Okay, let's take a look uh, at the journal. I found a corpse while traveling, say to Neen. It seems to be the corpse of the Processus Vitellius, based on some items carrying his body. He's carrying a parchment with what looks like tack records. He also had 200 gold on his body, probably taxes he collected. Previous. Okay, I've agreed to help Riscar find the money that Fargoth has been hiding away. I'm supposed to keep an eye on him from atop the lighthouse. See, this is the only thing that kind of sucks, is the journal. You can't, like, click on active quests, at least not that I remember. Some of these things are clickable, though. Like, you can see how these highlight. If you click on them, it'll talk about those things. But, like, this, for example, I can't click on that to track the quest. Unless... Oh, you can do it this way. I did not know that. Okay, good to know. Okay, there we go. Well, Fuda asked me if I believe it. I would be pure so they could know where I gone if I were going to give me money. Free to help Riscar find the money Fargarth has been hiding away. I'm supposed to keep an eye on him from atop the lighthouse in town. Okay, so now, um, you know, and the other thing is too with this, I think this is the lighthouse. Like, I'm going to take that money and I'm not going to get, oh. Hello, lady. What's up, baby? Uh, I'm not going to give it. Okay, so if I go... You've gained knowledge from this book. You're ar armored. Cool. How much is that worth? 95? Gotta be careful, though. I don't want her to see... See me taking things. Okay. Now, if I'm here, I believe there should be a rest option. I gotta find out where Fargoth goes. Um... Ready the magic. I wonder... Okay, let's take a look and see. I'm still... Gotta remember all the controls and everything. So let's see. Controls. Ready magic. Activate sneak run. Always jump next. Previous, previous, previous. Rest. Gotcha. Mouse. Two. I'm freaking dumb. Okay. What time is it? 4 p.m. All right. 10... Okay, we're gonna wait. Wow, that's real dark. You guys can't see anything. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna change this to yeah, you guys are gonna have a hard time seeing some of this stuff at night, but I'm gonna go ahead and Yeah, so it's brighter for me, so it's probably where I wanna keep it. I don't know how to fix that. But I think that's him off in the distance. You can't really see that. I wonder. Hmm. Yeah, I see him. I see him where he's going. Yeah, I wish I could do something better for you guys to make that easier to, to look at. So he's just walking around. Okay, we have to go. I think we have to go find Fargoth, actually, before we... Yeah, let's do that. Resting here is illegal. No one will find me, though. Like, if you rest in a spot out in public... Whoa, that's bright. Um, You can get arrested for that. But it's not that big of a deal typically um let's see real-time shadows that's fine view distance is fine yeah so you guys can see exactly what i see in the daytime that fogginess is annoying um but if you're in a spot like uh in like where guards are walking around and you rest they will they'll arrest you you also don't want to pull your weapon out in front of people because they will um freak out so you gotta be careful with that too first so i need to find this is the run. I'm pretty slow. We need to find Fargoth's house so I know where to look for him. I think he's over here somewhere. Helvia's shack. Cassius shack. Irene's. I know he's got a tree stump that he st stores things in. We need to get that money, though. Odrill. There's a reen. Wealth beyond measure. Barracks. Um, if I don't know if I can go in there without getting in trouble, but if I can, that'd be a good opportunity to steal weapons and armor. Cassius. Okay, so these guys are all good. Yeah, just the poop spot. I wonder if I can ask him about Fargoth. Little vice, little secret. 
Yeah, so that's right. So because we found that body, we can also um, ask people about things that we run into, which is uh, something I really like. If we didn't find that body, we wouldn't be able to ask about it, but it's nice that we can do that. So, Mark, you're new to Satanine, and you'd like to help finding your way around. Very sensible. Go ahead, ask away. Looking for services, some specific place, someone in particular, just need a little advice, whatever it is, I'd be happy to help. I just rumors. <laughs> Have you noticed for all his proclamations about protecting the rights of property and preserving law and order, the Imperial Legion does little enough to capture and prosecute abolitionists? Nothing. Advice? You're a bit of green, Outlander. Uh, might as well say I knew in town. What advice? Buy a little goodwill. Lose a few drinks, gain a friend. Folks will loosen up if you spread a little of the Emperor's gold around. Talk is cheap. I found his body, huh? Well, it's up to you to do what you want with that information. I suppose that Sosius or Gala in the census, an excise office would be the one to tell, if that's your inclination. Okay, so we have to ask about that. Trade. Commoner. I do whatever needs doing. Services. Get food and sundries. Okay. The Altmer Trade House. Okay. Chief agent of the census and exercise office. Okay. So he doesn't really have anything useful there. Uh, wooden door. The barracks. I wonder... I'm going to go in here and hopefully I don't get arrested for... Holy God! Freaking orc right in my face. I could use that. I don't know if I'll be able to steal it without being seen. Oh, I can. So you'll notice in the bottom left corner that magic... Um, or I'm sorry, that, uh, thiefy icon, it's indicating that I can steal without being seen. Whoa, that was close. He was, like, right around that corner. Excellent, now I can get rid of this crap dagger. Shield, shield, shield. This thing is junk. I wonder, how do I... <sighs> I forget how to trash this thing. Yeah, I don't remember. We'll have to worry about that later, though. I could use some armor, but I can't get around this guard. Say your words. Oh, it's a woman. I, not that I have anything against women guards or anything. It's just she looked very, uh, not womanly. Whoa. What up, girl? Okay. These chests always have, like, jewels or gold in it. Oh, hey, there's a helmet that I could take. Imperial steel helmet. Yeah, she's looking right at me, though. Damn it, I keep going. Oh, hey, this is exactly where I wanted to be. Okay, so even though it doesn't look like... This is standing. That's crouched. I go from standing to, like, just shrugging my shoulders, really. Yeah, she sees me. Oh. Valius. Wrinkled message. So does Ringle detecting it was sent here by a courier. Commander Valius, there are rumors of a Dunmer uprising against the Empire in the Grayslands and Azura's coast. Talk of marching to and burning down Imperial settlements and enslaving townsfolk. I suggest you investigate this matter promptly. These rumors have not been confirmed. Don't want to take anything in front of him, even if it's not that big of a deal. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to steal anything from this guy. Got the sword, at least. Looks pretty good. Polished. Okay, um... Oops. Yeah, I came out here on the guard post, but I need to... Like, I could antagonize this guard if I wanted to. And then in doing so, get into a fight and then kill her and take her armor. I won't, though. Okay, there's a lot of stuff to do. We need to find Fargoth first. Where the hell is his stupid house? Fine mouth... Yeah, we've looked at all these. Cassie's shack. Because, like, once we get good at sneaking around and stuff, I can go in these houses and steal all their stuff. Which, again, I'm telling you things that you probably know about Oblivion, uh, Skyrim, etc. But something about this game has a certain charm to it that's very different. Okay, let's see. Where's the local? Alright. Red Lantern, Red Lantern. That, right there. Where am I on the map? Uh... Where the hell am I on that thing? I don't even see me. Well, it's north. I know that for sure. But I don't know why... Where am I on the map? That's so weird. It shows the map, but not me. I'm not blind, right? No, I don't see that at all. Okay. Um, so we're right by... 
Corny's house, right? So it's gotta be over here somewhere. Federal, Odril, Blindmouth, Irene, Barracks, Barracks, Foreign, Indrails. Yeah, there we are. So there's that tiny little dot. Okay, so Forgoth is in the top right from where we are right now. So he that's his house. Or if that's not his house, it's one of, it's over here. Nice. There's a lot of great weapons and armor in here that you guys will recognize from Oblivion and Skyrim as well that make their initial appearance here. Okay, I don't have any way to open that, but that's his home. Let's see. Uh, murder, my trade. No, we don't really need her right now. Okay, so this house, where is the lighthouse in relation? There it is. Okay, so it's literally right, 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 right here. Okay, we'll have to follow him and his, find his freaking tree stump eventually. Don't know where it is just yet, but I need that money. I'm broke. That's not the right tower, is it? Damn it. Actually, wait. How's my view distance as well? I feel like I have to constantly change the settings here. Uh, oh, that's perfect. So much better. Okay. Yeah, one of these tree stumps around here. Okay, so. This one's Fargoths, right? You have something to say for me? Imperial Guard. Okay, so Fargoth is there. So I have to be able to see it from the lighthouse. But where is the lighthouse again? Oh, it's over there. Wow, it's really far. I hate this is how slow we are as well. It sucks. All right. Now, they said that he's at night, but didn't set a specific time, so we have to keep our eye out. I don't know when that is technically at night. I wish you guys could see it a little bit better here. I wonder... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. First, we're going to save it, just in case thing, things go well. Okay. All right, so we're going to pause that. I'm going to see if I can change the visual settings here. I'm not sure if I can quite yet, but we're going to try... Okay, so I think we got that taken care of. It looks like uh, you guys can see much more clearly in the dark. So apologies for the uh, times where you couldn't see very well, but I think we got it right. I had to change the gamma and OBS so that way you guys can see what I was looking at. Anyway, okay. That is bright, but it works well. Okay, so now... Damn it, which one is his house? One of those two was his houses. So we're going to go over here. Actually... Is that it? That might be it right there. That might, that might be the stump that we were looking for. Um, I don't know. I might actually take a lot of damage if I fall. I'm kind of weak. Let's find out. Oh, hell. Well, that was death. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try that again. That's the thing. That right there. That nasty creature. That's what I was talking about. That was the, uh, the one. It's in the water that I was saying. Okay, so I think we have to take a look and see, but I'm pretty sure uh, Fargoth or whatever, he, he's going to end up going over here. I think, maybe. And dropping in it. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think it's that one. It, that might be it right there. But he might have to come here. Okay, maybe, it, there are one or two things. Either it's not this, or... It is that one, but we have to wait for him to come here and drop some loot in there. Okay, we're going to figure this out. But the first thing we got to do now that you guys can actually see uh, is, I guess, just wait. I don't know. We'll have to... I, I vaguely remember this. Okay, so... I guess now we got to watch out for his house. Okay, so which one is his house... Uh, so we're here. So his house should be... Where are you? Oh, this might be way far. Far goth. On the other side of the bridge to the left. Okay. So it's... Yeah, I can't even see it from here. Yeah, it's barely visible 
All right, but I think he has a torch or something, so we'll have to take a look and see how that works. Um, 12 p.m., so we're going to go ahead and do 9. And then just wait, because it's night now. Okay, so now you guys can see. That's good. People walking around. That tree is in the way. I wonder if that tree might be part of a mod that is just, like, adding a little bit more greenery, which is screwing this all up. Let's take a look and see real fast. Found a... Nope. I'm right, right, supposed to keep an eye on him from atop the lighthouse in town and watch where he goes. Really, I should watch him at night. Not supposed to approach him at any time. I should then retrace his footsteps and find out where he's in the money. Okay. And again, you can steal the money without even bringing it back to what's-his-face. Okay, I think I see some light movement over there. That might be him, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it's them. But they have a very specific path they're following, so it very well could be those guys. Where are you going? Oh, they stopped. I'm not sure. You know what? I'm not convinced that I want to be up here now. I wonder if I can make... No, my jump won't get it in the water. Eventually, I'll be good enough. I need to find out what he looks like. He says not to approach him, but I kind of want to do it. Now, I don't know if it's like 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or what they constitute is like the proper nighttime. That's him right there. The one crouching. Okay, there he is. That's the one. Shoot. We gotta go. The Crouchy McCroucher. There you are. So it is over here. Where are you going? He's still crouching, but... There he is. Right above my crosshairs. That's it. That's the spot. That's the stump. That's the one. Okay, I thought it was over here, but there we go. So he's dropping the loot in there, and we're going to jack that straight from him. Just got to wait for him to leave now. Okay. Let's go get it. I don't know how much money it is, but I'm not. I'm not about to split it with that fool. Hell no. I need that money for myself. Ah, I still don't have any freaking lockpicks. I hate this is how fast we can run. Okay, so he's now out of sight, but that's the spot. I knew it was a... a stump someplace. One of these is it. There it is. Hollow tree stump. Hell yeah. Thanks, fool. Okay, next. All right, so now that journal entry is, uh, yeah, I found part of his stash. He must keep it in Hall Street, jump in a muck and pond down. Yeah. Okay, so we got that. Believes that Fargo has been hiding money. I've agreed to help him. Yep. Uh, where is the quests? Death of the tax man. I found a corpse. It seems to be the corpse, uh, uh, he's carrying. Okay, so I need to find. Processus Velier. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, so where is that on the map? I don't even know if that's a spot. Lighthouse, lighthouse. That must be the where I need to go. Excise office. So where am I on this tiny little thing? This tiny little circle here. I mean, it's right back behind me, I think. Am I going the right direction? Yeah. This is it right here. Okay, so I got to talk to them and see what's going on. 
What do you want? If you're looking to get out of Satanine, I'll be happy to give you a little advice. Latest rumors. First, it seems the fuss about the Nerevarine prophecy was just silly superstition. Then I learned that the Dunmer have been waiting for Lord Nerevar to come back for centuries. The Incarnate, they call it. Every few years, an Ashlander appears, and the tribes call him the Incarnate. Then the temple goes out, hunts him down, and reveals him as a fake. Why does the temple worry so much about it? Found his body. Yeah, so they're going to say the same things. But we're going to go back in here, talk about the body, and if they ask if there was anything on it, I'm going to be like, uh... Nothing? Let's see. Earl Septim, Morrowind, Chaos, Walmora. Nope. Nothing here. He's got nothing for me. Okay. Um. Actually, I wonder... Let me see. I have this now. Okay, so now it's equipped. Oh, that's right. You actually have to use that. Like, that's how you lockpick now. One gold. That's right. Very different than the other games. How the hell do we drop this? I do not remember how to drop weapons in this game. We'll have to worry about that later. We got 632 gold, though. We are in good shape. I'm going to sell the junk later. All right, we need to find someone to talk to about this. Murder. Oh, it's up to you with uh, the pose the Sos Sosis or Gala. That must be him right here. What do you want? Murdered? What a waste. Process was a good man. Processus? Processus? Whatever. I've been wondering why he had we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, there are dangerous times these are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Nope. No figures, I suppose. Well, thank you for letting me know what happened. Yep. Okay, so now, what does the journal say about that? Started to keep the truth about the 200 gold I found myself. Disappointed that uh, the money had been lost and saddened by the death of his tax collector. He thanked me for letting him know what happened. Okay, so now we can head back to Balmora. Or head, uh, not back, but up to Balmora. Although now, um, we probably should rest because I want to sell a few things. Okay, so 11, 10, 9... Okay, there we go. That's about right. Sup? Alright, I think this was a spot here. No, it was up and around this corner. I'm going to be looking up back and forth just to make sure you guys are seeing a, a clear picture of what we're looking at. And it seems to be you guys are. Is it Sarah? Oh, yeah. Sarah. Sometimes they call you that. Um, Barter. Actually, I wonder, how's my persuasion? Admire. Oop. 40, 32, 33, 38, 29, 17. Uh, oh, God. He does not like me very much. Crap. Well, so much for that. Damn it. I had lost my opportunity just now to barter. I got up a little bit, then I went down. It's all RNG. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. Uh, training. What do you have? Swarm. I don't offer services to the public. Hmm. Yeah, I have to get uh, some upgrades. In my status. Let's hear it. I want to get some training. Well, hello, Mark. I'm Rothlord the Braggart. This is Sadanine, Swamp Fever Capital of the World. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. I can tell you where the services are. <sighs> okay, well, we're just gonna have to go out and just do our thing, I guess. Um So we're gonna go to Balmora. Now, Balmora actually, you know what? No, we need to go to the Dren Plantation, which I had talked about, was somewhere over here. You can't really do a waypoint, which is very annoying, but here's Balmora. I know it was just east on the coastline, so it should be somewhere in this area. I don't think it's up here, but I could be wrong. It's either right in here or it's right in here. I don't remember. But let's go on a journey. We'll find it. Oh, shh. Okay, that didn't hurt me that much. Thank God. Okay, where am I going? All right. Could really use a compass about now. 
Oh, I see. The mini-map doesn't have a compass, but it kind of gets me where I want to be. Now, Belmora has the very first legendary weapon I ever got. The Sword of White Woe. I will never forget it. And we are going to get that weapon. Um, it's in one of the guard outpost towers. Oh, that sunlight is in my face. Oh, this is also one of the first... What is this one? Uh, the cavern door. Okay. We have to be careful about this because I'm running into a fight um, that I might not be able to win. There are bandits here. You can see that one down there. I can sneak and attack. Uh, actually, let's do... Oh, you bitch. You will die! Gotcha. Death. I was trying to use my magic ability, but that didn't work. Okay, what do we got? Chitin dagger. Edge boots. Yeah. Let's take all. Whoa, what's up, lady? Got that fancy little thong on there. Very nice. Value $4. Iron dagger. Imperial longsword. These are trash. Just want to get it out of here. Let's see. Common shoes. Common, 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 common pants. Yeah, there's a lot of weight here. Bar meat. Okay. Dispose of the corpse. That's so handy. Wooden bucket. Alright, here's the key. Oh, not that, I guess. Oh, maybe that did unlock it. Yeah, this little bastard. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, crap. Not going well. Yeah, that destruction spell is wrecking me. You coming? Oh god, he coming. Huh. <sighs> well, that didn't work very well. Okay, we're gonna rest 24 hours. And we're gonna go right back in. Now, also, you gotta be careful when you're resting, too, because even though there's nobody around me, you can be attacked in your sleep. And there is an RNG aspect of that, too, where you'll be attacked by, like, rats or crabs or something. You'll be, like, woken up from your sleep and attacked by them. Now, I wonder... Let me see something. Apparel magic. The ring. Restore health. Yeah, but what about my ability to... The shadow. Constellation shadow with the primate power. Moon shadow form. How do I do that? Oh, that's why it wasn't selected. I guess that makes sense. Chameleon. Okay. He's trying to open the door. Ah, this idiot. He's stuck behind the door. And the AI in this game is pretty lame, so they're going to be stuck right there. I wonder... Let's find out. See, he's trying to open it, but he can't because he stuck himself. Now, I'm invisible, but if I interact with anything, I become uninvisible, I think. Yeah, see, so just changing my... Oh, you know what? My sword and shield are visible, but my hand... I might be able to hit him through the door. That's how old this game is, but it's not working. Crap. So the only thing I can really do is wait for days, and then maybe he moves in that time. I can't imagine that he will, but we're going to just keep doing that a few times. It doesn't really matter. Okay, it rained. All right, let's go back and see. Did he move yet? It is still there. Yeah, he's blocking the path. There's something I can do. I can't open that. Okay, well, just some minor loot stuff that we were going to do. Anyway, um, okay, so we have to go around the mountains. Unlike Skyrim, climbing the mountains in this game is exceedingly difficult. Sometimes these things attack, but they don't seem to be that hostile either. So we have to go around this little mountain. What do we got here? A worn chest. Thank you. 
mud crabs. Eventually we'll be faster, but for now, nope. Okay, where are we? Is this a pawn shop? Okay. Ramin? Well, hello, Mark. I'm Ramin. This is Sedanin, Swamp Fever Capital of the World. I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. Um, let's barter. 44 isn't really doing too well for me. Um, but I also feel like I'm going to lose her if I try to do something. Magic helmets. These things. Dragon scale helm. That's new. Expensive robe. The robes always were cool. Let's see. Wow, that's expensive. Also, too, I think your clothing and apparel has an impact on whether or not people like you. So we're going to go ahead and do, not the robe, shirt, expensive shoes, expensive skirt, skirt, common pants, common, 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 expensive amulet, expensive pants. Steel pauldron left. Native Chizzy Bone Mode Helm. Dragon Scale Helm. Bug Shell Hat. Ashlander Shield. Oh my god. Uh. Hold on, what is this? I don't really understand how this works. Okay, so we can sell things as well. So we're going to toggle that in there. Common, common, common. I still got to remember how to do all this stuff. Some of these items are actually useful later on in the game. That's, I'm going to keep that one. Racer plumes. And she has to buy everything. Funny resin. Max sale. I thought it said make sale. Okay, so that, let's take a look and see now. Let's put on some better stuff. Expensive amulet. Uh, expensive pants. Expensive shirt. Common, common. Okay, so now we're looking a little better. I didn't look so hobo -y. No offense. Barter. Let's see. Let's get rid of the Chitin Dagger. Iron Dagger. Common, common. And then... Okay, so that's offering. So I'm telling her I want to sell all this stuff for 10 gold, and she's like, no. And it will bring her down a lot. Um, Persuasion. There we go. Why does that get me a little further? Nope. And gold. Okay, we're losing it. Now. Oh, you're a lady guard as well. There's a magic shield. So you can kill the guards as well. Keep in mind, that's a thing. Like, I could totally come in here and slaughter these people, but then I'd have a bounty on me, and I just can't do that. The, but because the guard is right here, I don't really have enough space to do anything uh, in steel. I just can't do it. There's no op There's no opportunity. Also, I'm, I was just thinking about this. I, I referenced the Sword of White Woe. There are two of them, I think. Any time now. Among the towers. I'm gonna read that. Nothing. Gotta be careful. These guards will kill me if I get a little too handsy. Damn. Go ahead, stranger. Wouldn't mind getting the armor. The chest I might be able to get in here. Guide to Vivek. Imperial Claymore and a shield. Okay, so he doesn't see me. Oh, shoot. I was going to steal stuff, but nope, can't do that here. You can also pickpocket, but I'm not good enough yet. All it takes is one slip up, and I'm screwed. 
Let's get out of here. Eventually, I'll be good enough to where I can start pickpocketing people, one-shotting people. You know how it is. Uh, I'm not able to take anything. Is there someone looking at me? That guard right there, probably. It's a soul gem in here, right? Yeah, lesser. It's garbage. Also not worth the trouble. Now, I wonder, though, the claymore, how much damage does that do? Chop 4 to 18. Yeah. Here, a longsword. Claymore. Okay, and that gets rid of the... Yeah, well, that's not bad. I'll do a lot more damage. Okay, we still have a lot, a lot of walking to do. I need to... I guess go this direction. Let's see, did we go south? Oh, no. Okay, we need to go way up here. Yeah, I need to go up this way. That's right. This is where we came from. Okay, okay. I think. I might be way wrong, but I have to go this direction anyway. Yeah, that's right, because we saw... Okay, I think this is correct. I hope I'm right. Because I need to go up in this little cove up here to get to the Dren Plantation. If I want to get some Daedric armor early on. And a katana he has. Okay, I don't think we have to worry about any threats in this water. It's very shallow, but the clams might have something in it. A pearl. Failed to gather anything useful. Now, oh god, what is it? Um, the oh, I forget what it is, but there's that golden sun sword. I forget what that sword is called. I think it's somewhere in this... It's along this coast somewhere. There's a shipwreck or something. I can't remember exactly what it is. So I'm probably quoting it wrong. But there is... Oh, I'm going way the wrong way. There is something in that general area uh, where you can go down and retrieve that sword, a legendary sword. I think there's some threats guarding it, though, so I'm not strong enough to take it on. But there are Daedra in here that you don't see in other games. Like the alligator Daedra. It's like a alligator man. It's really cool looking. Also dangerous. Uh, especially at my level. Uh... I don't need that junk right now. Okay, so we're in the next town over. The music in here is so delightful. Don't oh, put that down. It intimidates people when you talk to them that way. Happy to see you, stranger. Uh, a few questions. Latest rumors. Rumor says the Emperor was, uh, has repealed the war tax. We've heard nothing official here, but it's about damn time. We've had a war and haven't had a war in 10 years. Buy from merchants and traders who like you. You get better prices. Remember your own factions usually like you best. Empire built a little fort here to guard the roads between Vivek Seda, Ninwa, Mora, and points north. And then some veterans took their mustering out to pay and built themselves some little farms here. Pretty soon there's a few shops, mages guild, and a trade house. Okay. Not everything that's going to be said is going to be extremely valuable, but it is worth exploring around and seeing what's going on with these peeps because they might just have something useful. I can't remember anything in this general area being entirely useful. But there are... Uh, there are shops in here that we can hit up. I forget. I think there's one over there. What do we got here? Repair hammer. That's actually useful because your weapons go crappy. Alchemist. Armorer. Stealing from this guy wouldn't be too hard. If I can get him to look directly at me, then I can start picking some of that stuff off. I suppose it is my duty to help those less fortunate than myself. Okay, now what I need to do, if I can get him to be like... Okay, I gotta be careful I don't hurt him with it. Okay, now I'm invisible. It just stood there, holding its tail and whispering. What did it say? I don't know if I can steal and then directly, like, sell back. I gotta wait for this guard to move out of the way. Yeah, I won't be able to unlock that chest. Come on, come on, turn around and leave. She doesn't see me, but if I take one thing, she'll see me. Oh, she sees me. 
she doesn't say any dialogue. Whoa. I thought she was reaching for a sword going to attack me. Come on, go back to your post. If I can get her to move around, I can steal all that stuff. And I'm watching that theft icon in the bottom left to make sure that she stays or that I stay uh, undetected. Okay, great. Okay. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. You can't Damn! Alright, hold on. That screwed me. Uh, yeah, we need to do it. Ah, crap. <sighs> 35 gold. Oh no! Did he steal all my weapons too? I might have actually lost my swords. Shoot! Yep. So they know when you've actually stolen... <laughs> stolen other items too, which sucks. I found a little bit of a workaround with that though. Um, if you've stolen stuff and guards are coming after you, all you have to do is to run over to like the nearest crate or barrel, dump all of your stuff in it, let them like take all of your stuff on you that you've stolen, and then you can pull it back out of the chest. They won't grab it from there. <sighs> that sucks. Got all this junk back. That bastard. Okay. I don't think there's anything useful that I can steal here. Damn it. That's too bad. I got greedy and I I should have just left. Now I have no weapons. Um, but the armor doesn't necessarily mean weapons. So we gotta find a guy who's got the like a blacksmith or something. She's got weapons. I can see him this plate here. Is that a glass weapon already? Oh, it's a silver battle axe. The glass the glass armor in this game looks really cool, but it's so freaking stupid. Like, why would you have glass armor? That just is really dumb. Okay, I need a weapon that I can actually own. I remember having a lot of action with a silver claymore back in the day, but let's see what else we have. Glass throwing knife. Crossbow, I don't remember that. Silver long sword, 418, 612. Claymore is two-handed. The silver sword is probably better because it's one-handed. Let's see. trying to rip me off you see how it jumped from that value of 160 and then it went yeah screw that guy okay what does he have for apparel anything that i want to grab Belena's curious i wonder it doesn't tell me what it i can't remember that icon it looks like it's bone meal armor oh the drew shield so amulet expensive club oh that's right that's annoying. The gloves that you buy, uh, they're left and right. That's really stupid. Steel pauldron, left and right. Okay. I do want those, though. Steel helm is pretty sweet. 65. 398. Steel greaves. Okay, we're getting dangerously close. I need... Ebony pauldron already? That's right, we'll get that way later. We'll be able to kill some people and get those on our own. Um, The boiled armor is trash, but I want to see if there's a chest piece in here that I'm not looking at. Skirt. Do, 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 do. Common belt. That's right, you can get belts in here too. That's right, common belt. Common belt. Tower shield. Helm. Steel boots. What's the value of that? Another 50? Yes, guys. I'm just getting a bunch of steel armor. But he doesn't have the chest. Orcish pauldron. Surprised he already has ebony right out of the gate like that. Yeah, it's almost not even worth getting the... Yeah, we're going to bring this down. 
This guy's ripping me off big time. He's overcharging me like crazy. You notice that I was able to bring it down like that? Okay, let's put this stuff on. Oh, I, I bought two steel helmets? Idiot. Well, I can sell one. That's fine. I didn't realize I bought both. Oops. It is, if you want to have a really cool style, you can mix and match, and that's pretty sweet. Okay. Um, so we got that. Also, I forget what the third person is, but we should be able to toggle from there, too. Um, sell, sell. This freaking scumbag. How much is the value? 65 and 15. I want 80. 27. You freaking a-hole. He won't give me anything more than 50, I bet. 50. Oh, come on. He might actually uh, accept it. If I keep clicking it, he may eventually take it. It's again, it's RNG. This is Dungeons and Dragons law that they're using. I'm going to go five down. There it is. Oh, look at him now. Okay, so he eventually took it. I th the, in my head canon, he's like, fine, bitch. Like, <laughs> and then he just took the stuff and he's like, now get out of my store. One out of a hundred. So yeah, he hates me now. It's back to 44 though. So after you... The interaction changes, which is kind of funny. It's a good way to cheat out of this. All right. I want to know... Um, the chest is at 450. That boiled one isn't very good, but it it will help me. I'm going to take it, and then we're going to go ahead and just get rid of it for now. No, I do want it, though. It's not much, but I need it. I'm going to go 39. I'm going to go 35. Yeah. You know, he took it. What a, what a dick. Okay, and then we'll put this on. All right. I don't look too bad. I actually don't look like a total freaking idiot. Um, There is... Yeah, I gotta look up a third person. I wonder... Let's take a look and see what we have for options on third person. How does that work? Controls. A quick, quick. Journal, rest, menu, toggle, point of view, tab. There we go. Yeah, so you can see if you hold tab, then you can take a look at it. So I don't look, I don't look awful. Can't tell that I'm a, a dark elf, though. My hands show it, though. Okay. This is a very useful, though, if you are attempting to steal stuff. Having this perspective is nice. Okay, so this is the sneak. Look at that. The sneak is just barely low. Barely lower. All right, cool. Got that control down, but good. We got a sword now. The good thing is... Oh boy. The good thing is, though, is now that we have this, if I get arrested, they can't take this stuff from me because I bought it. I legally own this property, so they can't take it from me, but... Yeah, I'm super loud. If I can steal that... See how the icon is still there? Oh, I lost it. Alright, hold up. Let's save it real fast. <laughs> Stole it. What is this one? Silver Saber. I want that. That's beautiful. Come on. I just need them. Their perspective to change. Oh, there we go. Oh, see the right how it changed right there. Come on. Come on. Watching that icon. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want this thing. Ah, oh, damn it. You've lost this round. Okay, yeah, and then I will lose. I will die, probably. Okay, let's load that in. Come on. If I can get... Go ahead, stranger. This guy. What's this regarding? Okay, now... Anytime now. As long as he doesn't turn around. And that guard. Oh, that guard. That. She can still see me from behind that beam there. Come on. She may turn around. Aw, oh, damn it. I didn't actually mean to do that. 
die, scoundrel. See, they're going to kill you over that. Straight up kill you for stealing. I mean, granted, you know, I am stealing, but it's funny because what if I was just, you know, scoping it out? You don't actually know what I'm up to. Oh, the guard saw me this way. Okay, let's see. What's this about? Okay. Got her here. I need him to turn his body. I'm just trying to get some dialogue to be kicked up so I can steal if they have their backs turned. Latest rumors. Yeah, see, they don't really say anything. A little secret. Daedra, you know what they are, right? Well, Daedric shrines are where the Daedric cult worship Daedra. Bad people who summon bad Draedra. Stay away from him. Okay. Come on. Oh, she's walking away. I didn't realize she did that in this area. Oh, man. This is... Yeah, this takes a lot of work. Getting in here and getting to that chest. Yeah, there's so much stuff we'll have to do way later in the game. All these beautiful items, we can steal them later. Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to steal this from... Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, see, she sees me. God, stop following me. Let's hear it. What do you want? Oh my god, you guys, I'm trying to steal this freaking sword. Ugh, I'll be arrested if I try and use... Actually... You know, I want to steal that. Oh, oops, I can get in trouble for that if she sees me doing that. Yeah. Um, I believe, okay, we're going to try something. Um, if I go somewhere in town where I can just chill and not be disturbed, I might be able to hide back here without uh, getting in trouble when I rest. Because you can also break into these places. Okay, sweet, so nobody saw me. Uh, guard's still right here, though. I won't be able to break in. Oh, it's also... Yeah. Damn it. All right, we'll just have to deal with the stuff that we have for now. Okay, let's go. You like to dance close to the fire. There's a lot of stuff that I remember about this game, but also a lot of stuff I forgot. So, at any point during the episode's upload of this playthrough slash playlist... If you have anything that you want to say, you want to tell me anything interesting, let me know. That might be a bandit. Let's F him up. My silver sword is calling for blood. Also got to be a lookout, not just for more pearls and the clams down there, but, uh... Yeah. But also, uh... Chests and stuff there in the water. He might have a lot of health. We gotta just keep moving. Yeah, the combat is the worst thing about this game. Oh, shoot! He freaking spanked me. I had no idea. I don't have any destruction spells, so I can't hit him from a distance. Damn it all. Uh, That's too bad. This is my running. Ugh, the worst. I will say, I look not terrible, all things considered, but, you know, don't look great. All right, where was I going? I think I was going over this way. Oh, wait, where am I? Oh, I'm like not ever near the town. I got to go back up this way. I don't know what that guy's problem was, but I am super duper weak. Actually, you know what? This is kind of lame. I hate that I have to do this, but let's take a look at the preferences. Difficulty. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Here for the story, all right? Not for the challenge. This isn't Elden Ring for crying out loud. Elden Scrolls. All right, let's see if I can beat this guy now, though. I wonder, though, how much damage he can output when I've got the difficulty down so much. But I also don't know what a single point down, I don't know how that equates to damage in and out. Like, I was at negative 50 difficulty because I'm a bitch, but if I went to, like, negative 49, how much more damage can I take and receive? That fog is really annoying, isn't it? Oh, he's all about it. Okay, he can still kick my butt. Okay, time to back up. If I do run, he could catch up to me and do damage, but if he follows me, I can go into the town and the guards will protect me. 
I suspect that he's right behind me. And as long as I'm taking... Yeah. This is too easy. Yeah, he hits me again. I'm dead. <clears throat> bitch. Is near. Yeah, he caught me. Shoot. Can't do that again. I need to go up to him and get him back into the town. That's the only thing I can do to survive that. Because then the guards will help fight and then it'll be over. I'm too weak now. Even with the difficulty, like it doesn't, it didn't really seem to do too much. Always use best attack. Okay. Look how slow that is. And you notice my endurance bar is pretty low. Man, I can't believe I'm losing endurance by just this casual walking speed. Even though this is my run. He'll see me from a distance. And then I can turn around and run back. Ah, oh, you a-hole. I feel like I can run faster to the side, even. Just get to the town. There's a guard. The guard will help me. Oh god, he's still coming. Guards! Protect me! You're about to get it now. Uh-oh. Hey, you're supposed to... That bitch, he killed me so fast this time. Okay, we need to figure out how to block. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting spanked so fast now, and I don't even know what his problem is. All right, what is the control for blocking? Because I'm not, I'm not really a blocking type person. I might not be able to block. Yeah, I just can't. I'm not a... Like, if I have the shield equipped, then I can... Oh, I sold my shield. That's part of the reason why I can't block. Okay, well, it doesn't even show you how to do it anyway, but whatever. We gotta go. I gotta keep my distance if I want to get to where I want to be. Um, although... Ah, Silt Striders. I don't know if there's one here, around here. Let's see. thought that giant mushroom was one. Should be one around here. I'm not strong enough. I am actually very weak. All right, well, we're not too far away from Balmora. Might as well just hoof it, see what experiences and adventures we get into on then. I'm pissed. I should have been able to beat that guy, but kick the crap out of me too easily. Can you imagine how much faster he would have beaten me if I wasn't wearing armor? I think at this point, the only way that I'm going to level up is uh, smash some crabs and stuff. I have to grind that junk out. Also, I think there's a cave nearby here filled with vampires. Okay, we got some clams there. Let's grab those and then... And then get out of here. I'll fight this crab first. Sorry, man. I need to level up. Yeah, mud crab dead. Yeah, there's that guy. Say he missed me. I can't let him see me, otherwise he will kill me. Yeah, combat. Can you imagine playing this for 100 hours? Because I did. Oh, he's guarding that cave. Mm, I'll have to come back later on when I'm not such a wimp. All right, what do we got here? Pearl. 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 Sweet. Four for four. This is walking speed. Unbelievable. All right. Just follow the road, I guess. Oh, these little things, too. These things are a pain. They are aggressive. They poison you. Missed. There we go. Me constantly missing is a testament of how poor my skills are right now. Get to Balmora. I really need to get uh, that sort of white woe. It's not like uber powerful or anything. But but it is much better than this sword, I think. I remember it anyway. I think it's a short sword as well. This might be the cave that has the vampires in it, but I don't remember. Hey, 
how slow I am. All right, what do we call this thing? Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead. Rest until healed. There we go. Sounds magical. All right, we're going to go ahead and save it. Okay, adventurers, let's see what I can do in here. Probably not a lot, because I am super weak. Oh, I got attacked by a spell. 252, I'm two pounds over. Pearls. I wonder, there should be a timer somewhere. I can't move at all. While I'm over encumbered, but I'm not seeing any on-screen indicator of how long it'll last. There it is. It fades out. Okay, now it's gone. That purple thing. How much, uh, wait, yeah, that gave me an extra hundred and some pounds. Oh, God. Forgot about these big horsey cockroach things. Nice. Oh, what the hell are you? I hit her. What is she? Three scene Thando. Chitin long sword. Edge, common pants, common, common. She had nothing on her. Dispose of corpse. I wonder disposing of corpse. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. It made me carry all this stuff. I wonder how to drop this, though. Well, it's some very light stuff that we picked up anyway. I guess we can just drop it in the crate, though. Bedroll. Common ring, common belt. Exquisite shoes. There's value in that. Rating two, I'm rating one. Okay, we'll keep the long sword. The belt, though, I can put that on. Where did you go? Ring. No, 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 no. Because you can enchant that too. Like you can really go overboard in the enchanting. I want a much better belt for that, though. Itch. That's what these are called. See, it's RNG. Miss, 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 miss. There we go. Got him. What else do we have around here? Meat and bones. Actually, let's take the rat meat so we can eat it, and then that'll allow us to... I wonder, though... How do we... Oh, I see. No effect. The more you eat, the more likely you're able to break down what it is that those items do. You gotta be careful, though, because you can end up poisoning yourself. Go down there in a second. Is this just a door? Oh, that's a bad person. What up, bitch? I have you! Okay, these guys got their asses kicked. I don't know who these guys are, but... Weaklings. Fat loot. Yeah, we'll take that. I won't dispose of the body if that means it's gonna make me take all this stuff. Common belt, common everything. I don't know why these guys are so aggressive. It's a chest here at least. Oh, it's trapped. There is a way to untrap that, as you would imagine. Um only have one lock pick. That worked. Oh, I took a lot of damage from that. Okay, that's alright. Let's see. I don't care to read all these, of course. But by reading, as in most cases, you learn about not only the lore of the world around you, but you also can learn upgrades to your skills. So I always read every book, even though I don't actually read every book. Damn it. There's gotta be a better way. I wonder, can I... No, I just go to the swords. The lock will break eventually. So we're throwing knife. Soul trap. Pass flask for gold. Sweet. Musty. Ashiam. Metal plate. 
Oh, that's a valuable book. I will take that, because I can sell that. Okay. I know. RNG, everything. I don't know how long it'll take. Ah, oh, that there it is. Now I can't use it anymore. I believe there's a skeleton key in here that's unbreakable that you can get and use. Of course. Didn't get that this time. Or yet, anyway. Doesn't even see me. Oh, oh, he's just a... Who are these peasants? Guy just came right at me and just <laughs> punched me and I just stabbed him. Parched. Okay, what do we got here? Wow, he saw me from only up there. I'm taking all the ingredients just so I can eat them. I don't have a lot of health, but. She says that she dies. Netch, netch. Common, common. Yeah, nothing yet. Okay, let's go ahead and rest until healed. There we go. It's it's like so cheap, but it works. What do we have here? Glass bowl. And an egg. Some bread. <laughs> Guar skin drums. Netch, netch, netch. Okay, and that's pretty much all there is in here. Like, those people had names, though. They weren't just, like, random bandito, you know? That's right, we grabbed all those. Oh, well, we killed them all. It's weird because some of the towns just outside will have, like, vampire temples and people, like, they'll kill people and, like, suck their blood, obviously. You know, what do vampires do? Alright, where are we? We're not too far away. Oh, I see. You notice that the, uh, the map has those little squares that follow our path. Like, this is all unexplored area, but we went right from this square to this square. Interesting. It's fun having all this stuff. Uh, come back to memory a little bit, you know? The sky is also beautiful. Oh, shoot. I just remember the... The cliff racers are also here as well. We have to be careful. We're really close to town, but... Those, like, pterodactyl monsters, they will... Come out and get you. Also, we gotta remember to save often. Save, 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 save. Auto saves are not as frequent as they should be. I'm stuck by a rock. God, the leveling up sucks. I hate this part. Unbelievable. Balmora, Ghost Gate, Caldera, Vivic. Yeah, I want to. I want to go over here. I'll have to. I'm gonna do that maybe in the next episode. We'll go to Balmora first, do our mission, and then we're gonna go to the Dren Plantation. I just gotta look it up on a map so I know to go there. But after we got my butt kicked from that guy at that little camp spot, I just kind of got nervous. I'm like, man, I'm not as good anymore as I thought. Okay, getting to Balmora now. Looks like a big slab of prosciutto in this guy. I think I might have some. I'm hungry. Here, be a little sleeping. Might be able to get some armor. Little secret. Someone attacks you first, you have the right to defend yourself. If someone doesn't attack you first, you're going to break the law. Good to know. Moon Moth Legion. What's up, lady? 
I see this guy must be a merchant. Also, be careful when you're like leaning over the table to like talk to people because you could accidentally pick something up and then you steal. Order. No one likes me, dude. This sucks. <laughs> oh, he doesn't buy stuff like that. He's only magic. Okay. That's fine. What do you have? Looks like you've got clothing and weapons. Okay, what do you have? A lay member. What does that mean? We accept all citizens of good character and earnest faith. We only ask a, a one-time pledge of 50 drakes, to, and that's the gold, uh, to aid us in our good works, to become a lay member of the Imperial Cult, speak with Yigva at Fort Pelagiad, Seloria at Fort Buckmoth, blah, 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 and then Somudus Vanus at Fort Moonmoth. Which is where we are. Okay, whatever. Let's barter and see what we has here. Bone Mold Kiras. That one's actually pretty... This armor is... Bone Mold is stupid, but it is pretty cool. Steel. And then... Get rid of you. You. Book. 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 You can actually eat the pearls, too. I forgot about that. So that shoes. Ooh, that's nice. Exclusive. Scrib jelly. Sultrice. Egg. Egg. I need to eat all those things. Glass flask. I kind of like the flute. I don't remember if I can actually, like, play it, but... I'm going to see if I can get this guy to 200. It probably isn't going to work. Seems like a total ripoff, but we're going to try. Oh, we got it. Okay. Talk to him again to get the border or the chat level back up. Okay. Imperial Chain Greaves. Okay, first, you know what? I want to look better. Hold on. Notice that I have the shirt on underneath the steel armor, which is pretty cool. They've taken a little bit of damage, not really a huge deal. Not a big deal though. What do we have here for weapons? Iron, steel, steel, iron, iron, steel saber. Ooh, a silver katana. Why do you want that? Why do I, why do I have a silver katana? 418, 418, 622. I should keep that, though. He tried to oversell me. I'm going to go under. Nice. I think we're good. I Having a backup weapon is smart. You don't want to end up getting in a situation where you only have the one weapon. Okay, how do I look? Nice. All right, what else we got here? We need to get back to Balmora. We've got a lot of stuff, or get to Balmora. We've got a lot of stuff that we have to do. A lot. All these guys here. Um, let's see if we can just go back out. Prison towers. Imperial steel. Hell yeah. I wonder if I can... Yeah, take all. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Over encumbered. I think I can't move now. That's so annoying. 12. What's the most heavy item? Oh, I see. 30. 22. Chain Curus. Armor rating. 4. 4. Chain Curus. Not good. 175. Wait. See, it doesn't show that we've nicked it, so it... I don't, I don't know how to drop an item. That kind of sucks.
I wonder... Let's see. What does quick menu actually mean? Click on a key sign to spell... Oh! Okay. That's right, I remember playing this on Xbox, so... Um... I don't know how to drop this. How do we get this stuff out of here? Let's see. Up. Hold on. Okay. Um, let's see. Morrowind PC drop items. None of the controls I'm working. You have to hold shift. And oh, that's right. Okay, there we go. Now we can get rid of that. That makes sense now. There we go. Uh, wait, that didn't work. Nope. That didn't work. Nope, that didn't work. Hmm. Not shift, but it was a combination of something else. Okay, hold on. If it's, um, let's see. If I changed. Drop and drag it out of your inventory window. Okay, that might just be for oblivion, but I wonder though if I... Okay, let's try something. I'm curious. This might work. There it is. Okay, having a little extra space. This is going to be full up though eventually. Yeah, you can drop it outside of the inventory window. That makes sense. I'll just give myself a little bit of breathing room there to do that. I wonder if I can sell this without getting in trouble, though. Let's see. Barter. Oh, he does buy it. Because he doesn't know that it's stolen. Okay, we're going to go 200 and... Yeah. That's right. Whatever. 200 gold for sure. Okay, now I can grab this. Good to know. Okay, and then if there's any other items in here, I can grab it and sell. It doesn't reflect as a stolen item, which is quite interesting. I don't know why. I wonder if it would have been taken away from me if I would have uh, gotten arrested. <laughs> Let's see. Anything up here? Yeah, that's a nice view. Nothing else. There was another floor, though. Where was that? I can actually drop down here without dying, I think. Because the whole outside world just got um, rendered and loaded up, so it didn't really matter that I jumped down from that. Okay, let's go back to that guy and sell my stuff and then get to Balmora, shall we? He's got junk. Oh, she has other weapons. Hello. Oh, and then repair all, too. I have that as well. How much is the value of that thing? 40. Don't you dare undersell me. Come on. She'll eventually stop trying to do business with me, I think. I'm not going less than 35. Although I might have to. Come on, fool. Damn it. All right, fine. 30. It's my lowest offer. Come on, lady, I just found this weapon. It's not even really mine. Take it. <sighs> 29. 28. 27 gold. Dang, dude, she's a stingy. You won't take 25? Come on, bro. Fine. Yeah, she hates me. And I got my mercantile up, even though she's like at a 1. 
Imperial Claymore looks really cool. Okay, let's get to Balmora. Oh, wrong way. Where did I come in from? Yeah, the various merchants of all different shapes and sizes. I went right back to where I came from. Okay. I just want to get out of here. Damn it all. Although, I'll take that. I can distill that straight up. Oh man, I have another sword for you here. Uh, Imperial Longsword, value 100, 160. Dude, you lowballed me so much. Going 90. Okay, going 80. This guy's a jerk. Come on, dude, there's no way. Sixty. Come on. Come on. For real? There's no way that you're gonna screw me though out of that. There it is. Yeah, he's pissed. <laughs> okay, we have junk in here. I'm gonna eat some of this stuff. Just to clear out my inventory a little bit. like that I have to click and drag every little thing, but that'll get me drunk. If I have too much. A good thing I don't get fat from having crap. Because there's a lot of that that happened. Tax record. Actually. Dang, that's a lot of money. Actually, who was the money that I stole? It must have been. I got 200 for, from it, so it had to have been Draren, I think, unless there was some other math in here. But I imagine that was the one. Wait, did it say he paid it? Yep. Sort percent. We'll save that one. Now, a lot of no effect on me. Ice bottle. Iron ladle. Not a weapon. Soul gem. I don't really need that. Okay, we're fine for now. All the different effects just hit me all in once in the bottom right. Okay, how the hell do I leave? Must be around here. Yeah, look at that sassy stare. She's pissed. Okay, off to Belmora. We'll come back here later because we have more things that we can do in this area, but we need to get to Belmora, which should be directly in front of me from here. I'm glad the mods that we put on here to clean things up a little bit don't change things too much while simultaneously uh, not screwing up the game. Like, it's not super buggy. Okay, we should be in Balmora any moment now. You see the lanterns leading into it. And then we're going to grab this Sword of White Woe, which is actually a very difficult sword to get um, if you're sucky like me. Because once we go in there, there's guards in there, and we have to get them away And if we want to get that sword. So I'll grab that first, and then I'll find out where Satanin is in the next episode when we get to that. Uh, that'll be my main objective, is to get to Satanin, get the... I forget that what it is. It's like the Devil Tonto or some, some Tonto Katana thing that's really nasty. Like, wicked little Katana looking thing. And then, uh, get the Daedric Greaves. I wish they'd remaster this game. Oh, I can't get inside? I know I can jump over the fence if I'm good enough, which I'm not. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, I suck. Oh, actually, I can get up there. There we go. We're good. I don't think we get arrested for that. I didn't really break any rules. There's a lot of stuff. Balmora is such a significant town, not only because Chaos is here for the delivery of that uh, item, which I will give, um, but there's also like the guilds here, the houses are here. There's a lot in this town that is like super significant to the story and everything that goes on. So we'll have to worry about that. One of these towers though, which is it? To that tower, that tower, we're closest to this one or maybe that one. I can't remember. I think there's two swords in here, though, of White Woe. And we should be able to find them if this door is unlocked. No, it's a house. 
Okay, so these aren't the towers, and that's a tower. I don't know. Uh, let's go around the back and see if we can actually get inside. It might be a house, but it might be a tower. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, house. Yeah. So not this one. I love this armor. I think it looks really cool. But it's very weak. I just like the style. Isn't it dope? Like the carvings and the chest and everything. It's a cool looking style, but especially the especially the penis horns. Those are really nice, but it's just not like powerful or anything. It it could be this one. It's one of these two. I feel like it's probably that one, but we're going to take a look inside this one first. Man, this game is groundbreaking for 2002. Jesus. Blown away by it still. North Guard Tower. Now, the Sword of White Woe is tucked under a bed or something, if I remember. Like a bunk somewhere. And you can see it sticking out a little bit. That's not it. Okay, let's see. Where does this go? Balmora. There's two in this town. I know that. Sword of White Woe might not even be a legendary weapon. Locked door, locked door. Damn, can't get in there. All right, I might have to go to the tower and try for it, because I know you can get it without the lockpicks. But I do need to buy those straight up. Yeah, you'd see the blade sticking out at least a little bit. I came across it by pure happenstance before. Can I jump in the water from here? Uh, I might be able to make that. Oh, the game is not letting me. It's got an invisible barrier. That's interesting. I don't remember the game ever having that before. Okay, let's go check the other tower. I want that freaking sword. It's going to be daytime. I love the additional sound effects, too. It's very nice. That's not a bug or anything. Oh, whatever. It's just like a floating lamp. Damn it. There are two guard towers. I know for a fact. I know it. I know it. I know it. We will find it. I'll get the damn sword. There we go. Eastern. Okay. Please be here. All those weapons, though. Shoot. It's not there. Is it possible the PC version is different than the... Xbox version? Either way. for the inventory. Damn, it must be in one of those locked rooms down there. Ugh, annoying. Alright. Okay. Well, let's go see if we can find Chaos real fast. I actually know where he lives, uh, so I don't have to go to the south wall. Um, it should be right here. <laughs> there he is. Nice nips. My goodness, those are dark nipples for a very pale man. What? Well, yes, I'm Chaos Casares. Well, what do you mean? You were told to report to Chaos Casares. What are you talking about? So, you say, say your name is Mark, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package. Perhaps you'll, uh... Let me look at it. Sure. Very interesting. So, it says here, the Emperor wants me to take you an, as an, an, make you a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders, Mark? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. 
Good. Welcome to the service, novice Mark. Now you belong to the Blades, with the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades trainers now, or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit Blades trainers. These Blades agents offer training, not free of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for these people. Rithleen, Tyre Mylin, and Nine Toes. Nine Toes is an Argonian, I remember that, I think. Could be a Khajiit, but I'm pretty sure Nine Toes is a uh, Argonian. Here in Balmora, Caldera. See this person at Old Ruin? See this person? And Ilon found in a trade house. Ah, Ilon. That's, yeah, she said that she doesn't offer services, but she's a Blades member. Secret. Okay. Uh, Speechcraft. Oh, I'm broke, dude. This sucks. Hand to hand. It's not worth it right now. I'm far too broke to be giving any money. Orders. First thing, Pilgrim. You're new and you look it. Here's 200 drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or a spell. And second thing, need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on... But the Fighters Guild or Mages Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skill and experience, or go out on your own. Look for freelance work or trouble, then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. Alright. Now, I plan on having these episodes in the playthrough be just as long. I knew it. He still has the skooma down here. Skooma pipe. It's basically like heroin. This dude is just jacked up on heroin. Put on a shirt for one. My god. Anyway, let's get out of here. Well, we'll stay, I guess. Um, but yeah, I plan on having these episodes of the playthrough be pretty long. That's the whole point. Probably over two hours each. I think it might be a fun way to do this. I don't expect everybody to watch these episodes um, because of the length. But I don't know. I feel like there's some things I know about this game that might be worth it for you to, I don't know, take some of the advice if you're playing the game yourself. Maybe I've got some things that I could give you tips and whatnot. Otherwise, maybe you just are entertained by the storyline or the music or KS's nipples. It could be one of those things. But uh, regardless, I hope that you'll stick around um, when we upload new videos. Um, I don't know how long this playthrough is going to be, but I expect it to be very long. And my plan is just to upload one of these two and a half hour long videos every Wednesday as part of, part of uh, a playthrough that I've coined Morrow Wednesday. Pretty good, right? Don't roll your eyes at me. Anyway, um, but I think it's a wrap on our first uh, full ray uh, entry, whatever, into uh, into Morrowind. Really looking forward to this playthrough. I hope you are as well. If you did get through this video, then let me know in the comments. I'm curious if you got all the way through this. Well, I guess it's what, two hours, 20 minutes, something like that. Um, that's a long time to dedicate to a YouTube video. But if you didn't, that's okay, in which case you probably wouldn't see this message, but either way, that's the plan going forward, two plus hour long videos on Morrowind, because it's a long playthrough that I thought I would do casually once a week. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this episode of the playthrough. If you did enjoy it, show some love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Look at that steel outfit. I need some gloves. Um, if any feedback for me, leave it in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, I appreciate your time, and I hope to see you when we continue our Moral Wednesday playthrough as we uh, figure out what we got to do with the blades, uh, blades, rise through the ranks, do some stuff with the various guilds, and uh, become, well, stronger than we are because we are very wimpy. But uh, anyway, that's a wrap for me, guys. Take care of yourselves. Be well, and I hope to see you again when we continue our playthrough of The Elder Scrolls III Morrowind. Later. What was that?